Right, just to watch the breakfast central, let's go straight to what's been trending on the world of social media with the trend waves. We've got Lizzie uh, Musa, Elizabeth Musa once again. Lizzie, morning to you. So what's trending on the info space? Morning. So just yes, on Tuesday, we celebrated the International Day for the Girl Child, which was actually very big. And it drove conversation around digital um, creation for the girl child. But Nigerian singer Simi has started a very impressive challenge on social media with the hashtag Nobody Like Woman Challenge to drive conversation towards what's expected to be, I believe, a conscious song which she is about to release, you know. And this challenge is getting women to rise above hateful blows they might have been dealt with. And the idea is to post black and white pictures of themselves with texts displaying any anti-women friendly statement which they must have heard anybody say to them. And this, what this challenge is doing is quite creating a community for women to share and be vulnerable while garnering support from like minds. I like what she's doing with this challenge. Like you can see on the screen, that's a post from The Real Worry Picking, which of course is a comedian. And she says, so Real Worry Picking don't marry, the husband must be Mumu. Those are some remarks people make to women because they are in the entertainment industry. That's one from official Osa. She says on she has on her arm written, she's a mother, she should stay at home because of course we know that she has a child. These are remarks that people make to women and it's ridiculous to think of. This is Kiki. Kiki says um, one of the comments people have said to her is once you're born, your career is over. And women actually go through this thing so many of the times. That's um, Dr. Shola Fapsin. Uh, on her chest, you can see it written, why is she going out at night if she's not a prostitute? Because many times people see women going out at night and the next thing is, oh, she's a prostitute, she's a loose girl, she's this, she's that. Let's take a look at some of the remarks that some of these women have had. And it's quite interesting to see quite a lot of celebrities, you know, jumping on this challenge. And just goes to show that so many people actually have heard quite a lot. Now that's Kathy, which of course is a dancer, and you could see what was written on her chest. And that's also, um, you have that right there on the screen, that's you have no future, no security, you just want to be a prostitute. Dance is a sinful, devilish tool. She has heard people say all that against um, to her, and that's when will you retire? You have no value in the society, you are overrated, you're too smart to waste as a dancer. Those are very ridiculous remarks. And um, I might not pose this to you, Olisa, because you are a man. But Ol Oluchi, I want to ask you this question. Have you ever he heard anything in this, in this sort of light? Oh, yes. As long as you're a woman and you go and you interact with people, you're exposed to individuals with their different personality and mindset, you will come across mm. so many similar, not so similar, mm. exciting and not so nice comments from people. Yes. Well, it's great to know that. And I think, it, I think it's really ridiculous if you ask me. It's, it's really sad what women have to go through. And I'm happy with what Simi is doing with this challenge, you know. It's making women actually say the things that usually they probably say in their corner, but being able to say it out there and being vulnerable is creating this community where people know that, you know, I can speak. So someone else also has the same experience I, I might have. All right, Lizzie, thank you so much for that update. Uh, great uh, talent and a great hashtag, and good to see that other Nigerian celebrities and women are thank jumping you. on it. Thanks once again, Lizzie, when it comes to the trend wave. Well, up next on Breakfast Central, sports.